Good morning, class. Right now, I will start our study by explaining to you the importance of HRM. If the importance or the significance of HRM is not clear to you, you will think that the HR department or the HR unit in a company is just causing inconvenience or they are just there making things difficult. That is probably the reason why there are applicants who are irritated while being interviewed by the company's HR. I want you to try for a moment to imagine what I'm going to say. Everyone has their own acquired knowledge and information about a lot of things. And there are many sources of knowledge and information. It could be your family members, it could be your classmates, instructors, the one who is trying to influence you, most especially the internet. And those knowledge and information includes how to communicate with others, how to understand and relate to other people. Our acquired knowledge has become our mindset. It has become our beliefs. It has become our standards. It has become our attitudes and behaviors. And that's the reason why we have different behaviors. Because we have different knowledge and information that we have acquired. So think about it. We are going to put in a workplace group of people who have their own beliefs and behaviors. So what could happen if there is no one to supervise? There's no one to handle and manage and control. That's a lot of trouble. And that's where the importance of HRM comes in because it's their job to handle and manage diverse workforce in order for them to have one purpose, one vision, common goals and objectives, so that together, in spite of their differences, they can accomplish great things for the advancement of the company. I believe that the key to having a good and, and competitive marketing team, finance team, and other important teams in a company so that it succeeds is to have good and competitive people handled by a good and competitive HR unit. According to Dr. Doris P. Laron in her book, Human Resource Management Principles and Practices, HRM is important to, first of all, entrepreneurs, second, employees, third, leaders. So, I will discuss to you the first one, the importance of HRM to the entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are good at creating a product, upgrading and innovating. They are good at marketing and even financial management 
but most of them are not good in managing and handling people. And because of that, they may recruit and select the wrong applicant once their business grew. The wages and other benefits they can provide may not be fair which may lead to legal disputes. And a legal dispute is not nice to a company. It's a lot of ways. The HRM is very important to the employees so that they don't become innocent of their rights as employees and can make the right decision to defend their employment they will not allow anything or anyone to mistreat them as employees if they have the right proper and sufficient knowledge about hrm hrm is important to the leaders so that they will treat their employees correctly as people as human being that needs respect and care and if they are being treated right they will be given the wages and benefits they deserve there is a statement about human resource management in the Cambridge dictionary and stated it is stated that research shows that HRM plays a huge role in how successfully a company performs and this is this is so true and this is heavy research shows that HRM plays a huge role in how successfully a company performs. That means the company's success is tied to HRM. And so removing or paralyzing HRM is equal to company failure. In the website of North Central College, North Central college.edu there is an article contributed by a code name Shueta and it was reviewed by Jacob M and was published in June 2021 in this article Shueta explained that employees are the foundation of every successful business and the reason that these employees are making businesses successful, it is because they are being handled by the HR, strategizing everything from the recruitment to selection, the training and development, they're being handled properly by the HR. And these employees who are being handled properly becomes the foundation of a business that can cause the business to succeed in fulfilling their purpose, their vision, their goals, and their objectives. Shweta further explained that HR is responsible for helping employees feel safe, feel valued, and properly supported. In other words, security. It is the responsibility of the HR to make all employees feel that they are secured 
in that company. Because security will cause the employees become loyal. Security produces loyalty among the people or among the employees. It was also explained in this article that HR ensures that the HR department runs smoothly and continues to evolve over time. Why? If the HR department runs smoothly, then every need from top leaders to the bottom, every need will be met if if the HR department runs smoothly. And the reason it continues to evolve because we are in a world that is constantly changing. And for a company to survive and thrive, it is necessary to keep up with the changing times. In Forbes.com, there is an article that was reviewed by Cassie Butor, and it was published in December 2022. It was explained in that article, every business wants to do right by its employees. And that, that won't happen without the HR. Because it is the HR department or unit that formulates policies that will strike a balance between employer and employee interest so that no one will be in the disadvantage and no one takes advantage. It was also explained in this article that the HR are the ones formulating strategies, which is very important so that all the plans of the company will be implemented properly. Another article in Forbes.com by Joey Price, published February 2023. Here are five key reasons why HR is essential to organizational success. And in this article, Joey Price explained that the key reason, the number one key reason why HR is essential to organizational success is attracting and retaining top talent. Without HR, how a company can attract and retain highly skilled and highly competitive employees. They are the one making these strategies to attract the highly skilled and competitive applicants. And they are the one strategizing to retain them once they are hired. Number two key reason why HR is essential to organizational success is building a positive workplace culture according to Joey Price. So without HR, employees are unable to show concern and care for their fellow employees. And how would be the relationship among them be developed without the HR leading each employee to have a good relationship with other employees. The number three key reason why HR is essential to organizational success, according to Joey Price, is managing and mitigating risk. Without HR, who will teach the employees? Who will lead the employees in mitigating or overcoming the risks that are possible to come in any company. The fourth reason why HR is essential to organizational success 